Oh, hello friends, welcome to my channel and welcome to Tenta. So today I am going to explain you the 11th standard that is Business Study Chapter 5 Emerging Modes of Business Studies. So first question, e-commerce does not include interaction among the various departments within the business and outscoring, outsourcing. So restricts only the contracting out of non-core business and the payment mechanism type or uh, to e-business or e-cash and a call center handles both voice based and non-voice based business and it is not uh, an uh, application of e-business or the contract or MD. So short note. So let us state any key difference between e business and the traditional business. So the difference between e business and traditional business or the formation of e business is easy while formation of traditional business is relatively difficult and the startup and the operating cost or cost is low in e business as assets are normally not purchased but business system throughout the network of relationship while the traditional business uh, business has high expense in incurred and physical pre presence of sellers or sale person is not required in the e business while this is required in the traditional business next let us know about the new mode of business so outsourcing is become emerging mode of business as it allows a company to focus on its core function while leaving less important activities to Specialized agents, specialized agency. This had made industry focus on research and development of continuous innovation of sophisticated product, products. Next, let us talk about the two applications of e business. So, the two applications of e business are B2B, business to business, commerce involved business transaction between business organization. All business forms by raw material uh, machines and other input and services to carry out their business process. And B2C is the business to consumer. In all transaction between a business firm and its consumer. As B2C is e e commerce transaction not only include activities such as sales or purchase of goods, but also it includes marketing activities through the online mode. Next, what are the ethical concerns involved in outsourcing? Is outsourcing has also raised some ethical concerns for reducing overall cost of a product. The industry of developed countries outsource their production activities to less developed and developing countries where labor is abundant and available to low rates the labor force in the countries or child or women and working conditions are uh, unhygienic and uh, even unsafe the companies cannot do so, so in their development home countries due to stringent loss for feeding use of child labor next let us know about the data storage and transmission risk in e business so data storage risk so data stored in, in the system is subject is subject to various kinds of risk especially during business transaction if data get into the into the uh, wrong hands they may uh, be used by individuals to fulfill their needs their over purpose the transaction risk online transactions are highly prone to the following risk they are like default on undertaking or giving such a situation arise when either the seller denies that the buyer has placed an order or the buyer denies that he or she has placed an order they will not say and uh, default on delivery this is a situation where a wrong goods are delivered to the uh, at the right place or a right goods are delivered to the wrong place like this and default in the payment so this refers to the situation in which the seller does not receive payment while the buyer claims the, uh, that he or she had made the payment. Next, long answer. Let us know about uh, in the long answer.
why e business and outsourcing refers to the two as the emerging modes of business let us discuss the factors responsible for the growing importance of these trends so the rapid globalization as you know globalization and continuous innovation of products made change in the development of business and e business and outsourcing are latest trends and more likely to continue and the factors and the importance of growing importance of these trends are the speed of the business process so that the demand of the consumers are growing and it becomes necessary to facilitate their trade from uh, from anywhere and also around the world means on time we should use so that's why the e business is very important and to facilitate innovative and technology development to sustain the market every business needs to innovate and develop new ideas and products and in this scenario e business and outsourcing have an emerged as a as a boon for producers as uh, they facilitate good development technologies in their uh, business and also next is they help make available quality products at low cost so the demands of high quantity and customized products have in, increased and e business and outsourcing play a major role in providing customers with the with the, the requirement products at the, at the responsible cost by f- facilitating the production and supply of quality products so e business and outsourcing helps in attain the objects of excellence and they pave the way of effective post sale services so it is important for any business to cater to the needs of its customer e business and outsourcing play an important role here by providing quick and effective post sale service to customers next involve uh, online trading so registration so before online shopping one should be registered with the online vendor by filling up a registration form placing an order after opening the an account the buyer can start browsing through the products list they, they will get on the uh, website or the app and the buyer may select various types of website and uh, put them in a cart means so this this product i need that is the uh, cart they will put as you all know when you are doing online buying or selling that time you may be you know the, about that next the uh, payment mechanism so the payment of uh, for the purchase through online shopping may be done uh, by number of steps like uh, cash on delivery so payment is made by the cash at the time of delivery of product only or or you can say that uh, give the check so the online so the online the vendors may arrange for a pickup of cash check from the customer end or net banking you can do payment by the online and credit and debit so when, when the delivery happens you can give the credit or debit and digital cash or e cash so uh, online digitally you can do the payment so let us now put the need for outsourcing and discuss its uh, limitations let us discuss the needs and limitations of outsourcing so the needs of outsourcing can be understood by focusing of attention so outsourcing allows a business enterprise to focus on the activities, the activities that are more important to it and uh, quest for excellence so this enables the firms to pursue, pursue excellence by excelling themselves in the activities that they can do to the best for veteran and also cost reduction so they, this helps in the firm in minimizing their cost and this happens due to the economic of large scale occurrence and outsourcing partners as they deliver the same services to the number of organizations next grow through alliance so investment requirement are reduced when the some activities are outsourced outsourcing also facilitates inter-organizational knowledge sharing and collaboration learning and flip to economic development so it also simulates entrepreneurship employment and export in the countries from where our outsourcing is done next limitation so confidential so outsourcing depends on sharing a lot of vital information and knowledge and also also outsourcing partner do not uh, preserve the confidential and passes it to on to the competitors it can harm it to, harm to the interest of the party that outsources its process next let's stop it means outsource from seeks to the low, uh, low their cost by utilizing the low cost manpower of the host countries next ethical concern so in order to reduce the manufacturing cost manufacturing processes are being 
outsource to developing countries where they use the labor women in the, in the factories. <coughs> Next, there is resentment in the home country. So, global enterprise outsource their activities to firm located in the countries where labor costs are much less. Next, what is let us talk about the silent aspects of P2C commerce. So, business to consumers, P2C now only I, uh, I explained it. So, P2C commerce silent uh, aspects of so it enables business person to extend the trade out to a large number of consumers by providing them online global access to their products and it includes a wide command of marketing activities such as promotion and sometimes even delivery of products that are carried out online at much lower cost but high speed and also it has made possible to form to manufacture the products according to the requirement of the customers and also to provide the convenience of delivery and payment of the customers and it also enables my business to be in touch with its customer on round to round the clock basis companies can conduct online surveys to ascertain as to who is buying what and what is the customer satisfaction really. and customer can also make use of call center setup so by companies to make toll free calls to make queries uh, and large complaints let us know about the limitations of electronic mode of doing business and what are the limitations are the server enough to restrict its scope let us know about the limitations so limitations of electronic mode of business are low personal touch so the e-business lacks personal touch compared to traditional business and thus it is relatively less suitable mode of uh, business in respect of uh, product category required high personal touch such as garments etc next in concurrence between order taking giving order payment speed so information can flow at the uh, click of mouse but the physical delivery of the product takes time need of technology capability and called competence of parties to e-business so e-business require basic knowledge of computers and internet familiarities so the limit this limits to the use of e-business in few hands and increase risk due to anonymity or non traceability of parties so internet transaction occur between cyber personalities as such it becomes difficult to establish the identity of the parties and their location so by that they may risk the internet not the information Next, people resistance. So, the people of adjustment to new technology and new ways of doing things cause stress and sense of insecurity and ethical flaws. So, companies use an electronic eye to keep track of uh, the computer files, emails, accounts, and the websites visited by the by their. by their employees or other other who use their network system which is not considered right on ethical group. Despite the limitations, the scope of e-business remained widely, mainly owning the uh, continuous implementation of new technology and new updates that helps in overcoming the limitations. So web websites are becoming more and more interactive to overcome to the problems of knowledge. Communication technology is continuously developed to increase the speed of and quantity of the communication throughout the internet and efforts are on to the overcoming the digital divide. Some of the example like by restoring to such categories and settings of uh, of communicating tele centers in India and rural areas in India. So communications and tele centers setups are making in rural areas and in uh, villages also. So by that uh, the business e business we can it may be helpful for the e business also. So this was your chapter. <laughs> and this was your chapter the emerging mode of business today. So friends like thank you comment on my video and subscribe my channel and go